Time to greet our gold medal tandem, Oksana Kazakova and Vladimir Malakov. Vladimir Malakov grew up in a country that's gone now. Luxuries were non-existent. He learned how to skate on borrowed blades. I love to wear the hockey skates, but it's not like in Canada when you walk in the store and you have so many choices. His boyhood dream? To represent his homeland. And in 1990, he played for the dominant world champion Soviet Union team. Two years later, they looked to win Olympic gold in Albertville, France. But his country had dissolved overnight. When we left Moscow, it was Team USSR. And I when we get to Albertville, it's no more USSR. We're going to wear a jersey. They had nothing on the front. Pride prevailed over politics, and the renamed Commonwealth of Independent States found the road to Olympic glory. We don't even have a flag. No arts and nothing. But it was pretty sad. I started thinking about NHL right after Olympic game. Vlad followed the tide to the NHL, first with the Islanders, then Montreal. A powerful skater, he carved out a 14-year great career that peaked in 2000 with a Stanley Cup victory in New Jersey. I was so excited. Stanley, it's the biggest thing in my life. His partner, Oksana Kazakova, also carried a childhood dream. Opportunity came at 20. A coach called me and said, okay, Oksana, you know, I have to admit if uh, looking for a new partner. Her new partner, Archer Dmitriev, already had an Olympic silver and gold medal. The pressure was on. You're crazy. Start skating three years before Olympic with a new partner. It's not possible. And after the days, she said, OK, Oksana, let's go. Try, try. I say, OK, I will try. The new Russian powerhouse team won Europeans within a year. And two seasons later, captured 98 Olympic gold in Nagano, Japan. Oksana's dream came true. The first Olympic medal for Oksana Kazakova. On that day, Oksana became a strong link in the long chain of great Russian pairs champions. Oksana is the perfect partner for Vladimir. She certainly understands the competitiveness in him. This is not an easy thing for Vladimir to do. He's had eight surgeries on his left knee, three on his right knee. He has a rod in his shin. He has a metal plate in his jaw. He has gone through shoulder surgery on one shoulder. He's practically bionic. Yes! 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 I'm challenging myself. And when I challenge myself, I enjoy it. <laughs> Me and my partner, we're going to skate for I Orphan Canada. I Orphan Canada is a non-profit charity providing basic necessities for needy Russian and Eastern European kids. This charity is very important for me because this is for kids, for our kids who grow up in our country. It's, it's very sad, very hard to see young kids. They're not crying, but you can see the sadness in the eyes. My heart cry in this moment. I will do my best what I can. Without us
Olympic champion Saksana Kazakova and Vladimir Malakov. Beautiful. Two of them draped in gold. Like we say in Canada, Putin on the Ritz. Sorry. Jane. Okay, I hate to be you going through security with all that metal in that body. Wow, our gentle giant. Um, you guys, that was a really, really nice skate. And I really need to point out your lift. You're the only one tonight that is putting up a lift going backwards. And that is extremely risky and difficult. So I even had to like do what my mom used to do watching me skate. I kind of went like this. So very good job. When you, when you played, you were big, strong, and, and fast, and that's exactly what your performance was today. I, it, it didn't feel like 90 seconds, or I don't even know how long it was. it was. It was very fun to watch. Very, for a big man, very smooth. Very smooth. Kurt Brown. You're a beautiful team to look at, and so that was a really beautiful moment that you created for all of us. You've stayed in such wonderful shape. You're an inspiration. Congratulations. And if I have something on my chin, will I look like you? <laughs> <laughs> Just you build speed so quietly. You are a gentle giant. You're like a gentle locomotive. And once you get going, it's, it's really interesting how you hide your hard work. Um, just a couple little mistakes, but you're a very interesting couple. I want to look forward to more. Definitely consider one of the greatest skaters in NHL history. Oksana and Vladimir are skating for I Orphan Canada, which is an organization here that uh, puts together money for homeless children, all the basics of food, shelter, and clothing for kids back in Eastern Europe and Russia. Congratulations. Let's get the marks, beginning with Kurt Browning. Tiny bit safe, 5.4. Jamie Saleh. 5.4. PJ Stock. I'll be the nice one, 5.5. Five. What a guy. <laughs> if you want to shower our Russians with love, you have to vote for them this evening. That'll help them get into next Sunday without having to worry about the skate off. Voting's all online this year. You don't have to remember a phone number. Just get the details now at cbc.ca slash battle and cast your vote. Now, we're moving on in the competition again. We want to find out who's going to be in the bottom two this evening and have to go in the skate off next week. You can see down at the bottom, Marcy and Mike, that's still surprising to me. Oksana and Vladimir find themselves in fourth position and the two teams out at the beginning Lead the way at 16.8. The ING Direct Leaderboard. Remember, the two teams receiving the fewest votes will be in our skate-off one week from tonight. We still have three pairs to go. Violetta, Afenasieva, and Jason Strudwick up next when Battle of the Blades returns.